Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a Sunday morning update of what's going on in and around the Mid-South where it comes to, again, the conditions out there. And as of right now, we're seeing, again, the potential for some more snow showers in and around the Mid-South. Nothing serious and nothing severe, but we are going to continue to see the possibility of some more snow flurries as we go into the rest of the forecast. So stay tuned for more on that. Much of what we're looking at right now is a lot of sunshine in the Mid-South, believe it or not. And also, again, a little bit more cloud cover out there as we go into the course of the rest of the day today. Now, again, the possibility of snow is not all that great, but it's just one of three systems that we've got lined up and is going to be heading our direction in the course of the next couple of days. So looking at the possibility of some more problems there. Rest of the week, after a brief frigid start right after the holiday finishes up, we're going to be looking at some much nicer temperatures and the potential of maybe some rain showers by next weekend, but at least by then the temperatures will be way up into the 50s, so we're not going to be seeing too much of any major concerns with rainfall coming our direction there or severe weather or anything else like that. But we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're joining us this morning on Facebook, we're on our main Facebook video page for, again, News Channel 3. And if you'd like to drop your location and your current weather conditions. If you've got a thermometer outside the living room window, you got that weather station out there with the anemometer twirling around. Let's see what the wind speeds are doing. Let's see what the temperatures are like out there. And please forward us your pictures as well. We'd love to see more about what it looks like in your area. Sunrise, sunset, snow pictures. We've gotten a whole bunch of them, and we'll take a look at some of your pictures coming up here in just a little bit. So stick around for that. Good morning to everybody who's checking in on Facebook so far. We'll talk more about all that. So again, we're just past 8.03. So let's go ahead and get on going for this morning with a quick check of the forecast. By the way, if you've never tuned in here for this before, this is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you look down at the bottom of your screen, notice the blue bar with the scrolling information. That's the forecast. You can also pick up the forecast here on our seven day. That's available at wrag.com slash weather. If there's anything on here you'd like to tell me about, something that needs tweaking, something you'd like to see on here, please let me know at the email address austin.onic at wrag.com. Forecast in a nutshell shell throughout the rest of the day today. Again, flurries beginning in the next couple of hours and lasting through roughly about dinner time in some form or fashion. We're not looking at a lot of snow showers, but we are going to be seeing the possibility of some more potential of snow into the next couple of days. So stick around for more on that. Now, for those of you back in summertime who are complaining about the heat and wanting the winter, well, you got it. Here it is. And we're going to be seeing that in pretty much a large amount over the course of the next couple of days. So keep that in mind. Bridget Tidwell, Covington, welcome to the show. 19 degrees there. Uh, Adam, Jessica, Norwood, roads are still bad in Middleton, Tennessee as they are in many locations at this time. Stacy Waits, if I'm saying that right, terribly sorry to lean in on you, but two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well. Uh, how are the roads in Memphis today? Main roadways across the Mid-South are doing pretty good, but when you get onto the side streets, like you see here in Heidelberg at the elementary school in Clarksdale, Mississippi, there are still some slick spots out there, especially where the trees are shading the roadways from that sunshine that we're going to be picking up. So there are going to be slick spots out there. Shelby County Sheriff tweeting about some very bad slick spots around Macon and Big Orange Road, so something to think about there if you are going to be traveling for this morning. Uh, see the lovely Martinez from Jonesboro, 20 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that. Horn Lake, 20 degrees. Daniel Lee Arada, thank you very much. Cedric Watts, will it snow Tuesday morning? We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Erica Nichols, 23 in Jonesboro. Thank you very much uh, for joining us from there. West Memphis, across the river from us. Phaedra Dewan Turner, hope I'm saying that correctly, 20 degrees. Thank you very much on that. And 19 degrees in Munford, Patty Rickard Ritter. Thank you very much for joining us there. Campus of Ole Miss, Ventress Hall, and the Student Union back there someplace. Again, a little bit more sunshine in and around North Mississippi this morning, so a little bit more sun here. Not exactly all that warm, though. Here come the clouds from our next system on the northwest horizon from Germantown, Poplar Pike, and Germantown Road, and just north of Germantown High School. The water towers, again, some bright sunshine for now, but that'll be replaced by the clouds later on. 21 degrees, north winds at 10, wind chills down into the teens and single digits. Very cold morning if you're getting out and about for the morning. Crystal Hogue Floyd, 18 degrees in Ripley, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that for the Mid-South area. 22 in South Haven, Bob L. McCready Jr. Thank you very much uh, for that report at this time. 
Let's see, Joe Leduc, Leduc, if I'm saying that right, hopefully not slaughtering that too bad. Is it supposed to do something Monday morning? Technically, yes. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Kathy Freeze, Whitehead, 20 degrees in South Haven this morning. View from our transmitter tower cam, I-40 and Sycamore View. Traffic is moving along pretty well. Also on the flyover, not seeing any backups or slowdowns here. But once again, there are going to be patchy areas of ice out there that have been sheltered out there. If you look at the median and the breakdown lanes at I-55 and Goodman Road, there is still plenty of ice out there, which means if you're going to be stopping, having to pull over to the side of the roadway and make your way over for an emergency stop, you're going to have to plan well in advance because that could send you spiraling off onto the side of the roadway or back out into traffic, depending on what goes on. And keep in mind, again, in these shaded areas under bridges and overpasses, that's where you're going to see the worst of the worst where it comes to anything involving problems out there. Likewise, plenty of ice in the breakdown lane at just around the area north of Quince at the overpass and heading back toward Mount Moriah on I-240 westbound this morning. Still a lot of problems there, but the main roadways you can see pretty well clear, but I would be very cautious of anything in a sheltered area that may keep that ice around out there. Storm Tracker 3S for the metro area, nothing showing up on radar for right now. We are seeing a few minor echoes right down into around western Phillips County in Arkansas, south of Marvell, northeast of DeWitt, and right around Stuttgart. We are picking up again a little bit of light showers here, snow showers, but nothing else in the way of activity across the rest of the Mid-South for now. We've got more snow on the way back across southern Missouri and back into around northern portions of Arkansas. We've got some snow showers taking place and a little bit more of that developing again right down into southeastern Arkansas. So that's starting to pick up in intensity here and that could drop a little bit of a dusting out across portions of the area. Now what we're going to be looking for in the way of anything in the way of heaviest activity is going to be confined mainly to this area, northern Arkansas, southwest and south central Missouri. This area from this particular system, the first of three moving over the area, could give this area a bit of a dusting. But beyond that, we're just not seeing too much of anything else for the rest of the Mid-South area into the course of the rest of the day. Again, mainly a dusting expected. Now, if you are heading north of I-40 in Little Rock, west of West Plains, Missouri, Springfield, Nevada, back toward around the area of Joplin and north of Fayetteville. Winter weather advisory has been posted for this area, not for the Mid-South. So why are we telling you about this? Because we are the station that is on your side and we want to make certain that you know about what's going on with the weather if you are heading that direction. But so far, nothing issued for the Mid-South area, so good news on that. These are the temperatures out there and you can get this information from the weather bug system available on your computer screen. All you have to do is go to this website, wreg.com slash weather and click on the weather bug system to get more information about what what's going on in your neighborhood. You'll notice the numbers changing every once in a while and wind chills down and into the lower teens. We've seen some single digit temperatures. We have not seen any sub-zero wind chills at this time, which is always good news, but it's still very brisk out there. So if you are gonna be heading out the door for church or Sunday school, whatever churches and Sunday schools may still be going on, look for an updated list again at wreg.com for more information about who's closed and who's having delayed services for later on today. All right, let's run the numbers into the rest of the day. Those snow showers back to the west of us should again stay mainly back that direction, but some of that is going to advance its way into the Mid-South, maybe coming across the area close to the Mississippi River and advancing into around West Tennessee and north portions of Mississippi. But once again, we're going to be on the eastern fringe of this system, so there's not a lot out there that we're going to pick up out of this. And then by tonight, by News Channel 3 at 10, everything is pretty much done. Winds turn out of the south, and that's going to be important for us because that's going to both keep the temperatures not quite is cold by tomorrow morning around daybreak, and it's also going to supply moisture. Now again, first system we saw for today, that's number one. Here comes number two, back to the north of us, into tomorrow morning, right around Dyersburg, Ripley, Blytheville, the Boot Hill, northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas. This is where we're going to be seeing some more rain mixed with snow showers and maybe some of that coming decently close to the metro area, but most of it should be in the northern third of the News Channel 3 viewing area counties, and that'll stick around through about drive time home. So if you're planning on heading north to St. Louis or you know somebody who's coming south toward Memphis, you may run into some of that as you get into tomorrow afternoon or so. Now, into the next couple of days. Again, first storm system today, 
That's that light chance of snow that we get back to the west of us and more concentrated snow here. Then we get into Monday morning and Monday afternoon. Northern parts of the viewing area could pick up some more snow showers and some accumulation, which could be a problem for driving Dyersburg back to about Jonesboro. That's number two. Now, number three sets in as we go into around Monday night into around Tuesday morning. This one has the potential to interact with that cold air and that moisture sitting toward the ground. Cold air undercuts that and falls as snowfall. This does not at this time look to be the situation we had last Friday where we had the sleet pellets and the freezing rain first and then the snowfall. This storm system appears to be set up in the profile for just snowfall. We can look at that ahead of time and see that very good potential for that out there. So once again, the rundown for the storm is looking like this. Again, developing snowfall, again, for parts of the area, northern parts of the area, Monday morning into Monday afternoon, but mainly the threat for this next third storm system is going to be, again, Monday evening. Colder temperatures, much windy as well. So by Tuesday morning, it's going to be another brutally cold morning out there. And by Tuesday morning, we could also see the possibility of maybe some more slowdowns out there and the potential of some slick streets right about the time you're getting up to go to work and about the time the school buses are about ready to roll. So that's something we're going to have to watch very carefully. Now timing on this system, again, starting off Monday for the third storm system, that second one that's affecting the area here will be Monday late morning into around areas close to about early Monday afternoon. Then that one goes away. The third storm system moves in Monday night into Tuesday, Tuesday morning into about dawn patrol, that's where we see the potential for the heaviest amount of snowfall out there. And then the snowfall goes away slowly and grudgingly, but it will be getting out of here as we go throughout the rest of the day. So how much are we looking at? Again, in that dark blue shaded area, we may be looking at about one to two inches. That's a very, very preliminary estimate. That will change in the next 24 hours, up or down. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest there. North of I-40 and southeast of this area, it'll be about an inch or so less. So from, say, about Tishomingo County in northeast Mississippi down through Oxford and east of Batesville, you're probably going to get less than, say, around Somerville, uh, back toward around Moscow, into around Piperton, Collierville, parts of the metro area, northwest Mississippi, and southeastern Arkansas. That'll be the heaviest zone for right now, but keep in mind this is just one computer model here showing the worst of the worst. A lot more computer models are showing a lot less than one to two inches, so I'm going to be probably toning this down in the course of the next several hours as the new computer models start to come back out again. North of I-40 in Memphis, again, mainly about an inch or less or so, less amounts up toward Dyersburg, but keep in mind around Dyersburg, back toward Blytheville and Jonesboro, the boot heel, you're going to be picking up snow showers possible into Monday afternoon. Monday morning into Monday afternoon, so you're already going to have some snow on the ground from this second storm system coming through. The third one coming through will drop some more, but a little bit farther to the south around the I-40 corridor, and that's where we could see the heaviest snowfall out there, but the computer models have started to trend this one down by just a little bit, so we may see again the potential of some snow showers out of this. Not a huge amount, and again, we may see a little bit less in some areas than what we got the last time around. Good morning to everybody out there checking in on Facebook. Raymond Bradford Jr., do you think they will close the schools? I appreciate everybody asking that question, but you're asking the wrong guy. It's up to the school districts entirely. It's up to the superintendents. It's up to the people who are in charge of stuff like that. I can tell you about the weather, whether or not they're going to close schools. You really got to go to the school districts for that, and a lot of them will wait until they know what the situation is going to be. And again, keeping an eye on the weather as it develops, as they should be doing to make certain everybody stays safe. So again, I appreciate everybody asking the question about whether or not schools will be closed. But as of right now, I don't know. And I would never presume to answer that question for the school districts out there. So thank you for asking. But again, I'm not going uh, to answer that question for right now out there. 18 degrees in Holly Springs. Latasia King, thank you very much uh, for that. Good morning to everybody else at this point in time. And again, throughout uh, the rest of the area today, getting some check-ins from in and around the Mid-South. Thank you very much for stopping on by for this morning. Let's run the numbers again for the seven-day forecast. 32 degrees today. That's it. And that's all with flurries and 
again, some snow showers out there are dusting for the most part. A lot of volunteer groups in and around the Mid-South getting going tomorrow for the day on for service rather than just making another day off, honoring Dr. King's legacy and helping the neighborhood out, getting out there, cleaning up garbage, helping your elderly neighbors with what they need, doing your best to help your fellow man out there. And again, for the day, it's looking cold, but it's not going to be seeing a major problem with snow showers until we get into about midday for areas north of I-40 and then after sunset with some rain showers at first and then changing over to snow as that really cold air makes its way into the area. So lower 20s again for highs on Tuesday and again could be some low wind chills out there as the snow slowly dwindles and heads on out of the picture. Then we get into Wednesday morning back to school again. If we go to school on Tuesday we'll have to wait and see on that for a lot of kids in the Mid-South. Single digit temperatures at the bus stop on Wednesday morning and could be some breezy conditions as that storm system leaves the area. Winds wrapping around the back side of that system could give us sub-zero wind chills into early Wednesday. Day. So very cold conditions out there. Now, the good news is after we get out of this particular ice box, we'll be looking at numbers increasing throughout the rest of the week and going back into the mid to upper 50s for highs on Saturday. There will be another chance of rain showers on Saturday and Sunday, but so far again, it's not looking like too much a 20% chance for right now. And temperatures remain fairly mild at this time back in the mid to upper 50s. Now, these numbers have changed a lot since yesterday. Some of yesterday's models were showing 30s and 40s. These particular numbers are showing a lot warmer conditions out there. Again, 10 days out this end of the forecast is more of a suggestion than anything else as it's going to be changing as we get closer to the event. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the rest of the weekend and keep an eye on the updates to the seven-day forecast again at wreg.com slash weather for more. All right, let's switch over to something a little bit more lighthearted. Thanks to everybody out there for sending in some of the pictures out there from one of the best producers that I ever worked with, Miss Joan over in East Memphis, husband walking the dog and heading out the door for a little bit of fun in the snow and heading out for, again, a little bit of a tromp in the ice and snow on Friday. Thank you, 901 Joan, for that. Memphis underscore Tom, yesterday morning from Hernando, Mississippi, a few flurries dancing through the air, and thank you very much for sending along. These came to us from Twitter, so thank you, Twitter user Jessica Cake 22 for sending in a nice picture of some snow showers out in and around the area. Didn't get a location there, but you can see some of the snow flurries against the darker vegetation in the background. From Facebook yesterday, Judith Dallas Nance from East Memphis. Very nice view of some snow and ice-covered roadways and a lot of snow coming down there. View of Cody, grandson to Michelle XN McWilliams Manahan, having some fun sledding down the hill. And a nice view of an ice-covered Highway 104 West in Finley, Tennessee. And some nice sunsets out there. This one coming to us from underscore Jacqueline Stafford. So thank you guys very much for sending those in. And that's just a fraction of the pictures that we got. If you'd like to see more of them, you can go to some of my websites out there, Austin Onic WREG, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3 on Instagram. And of course, you can catch me on most of these social media networks as well if you'd like to see more about that. If you can't stick around the computer or watch the TV for forecasts, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, my forecast throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. And I'll be back on tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh. Talk back live on AM 730. If you can't get the signal because you're out of the Mid-South, drop by talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information on that. That'll do it for this morning's edition of Weather Overtime. Again, constantly changing situation, which is exactly what weather is all about as you live in a giant terrarium in space. And again, that air moving around the globe has a tendency to to change and shift and things will be different as we go into the next 24 hours and as we go into Monday night and Tuesday We'll do our best to keep up to date with more about what's going on into and around the area for right now. So stick around for more about that. And thanks to everybody for stopping by on Facebook, asking the questions, and keeping updated again with our forecast information out there. And for the uh, information as well, see April Hens, 22 degrees in Eureka Springs, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that. Anybody else with some temperature reports around the area? Sunshine in Millington, Marie Vaughn, 19 degrees. Thank you very much there. Sunny in Sardis, Mississippi. 
Mississippi. Samantha Hardy, thank you very much uh, for that. And thanks to everybody else for tuning in for all the updates uh, for this morning. We'll have more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10. Not sure about sporting events tonight. We may be on a little bit late uh, as we go into the evening hours. But once again, we'll have a ton of updates coming up tonight, and especially here at WRAG.com slash weather. So stay tuned for more on that. We'll keep you updated. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us on our main Facebook page, and stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.